Here in Kurdistan, like other countries where FGM is practiced, female circumcision, known as katana, is not spoken of openly. <laughs> We need influential religious leaders to make that clear to people that this is not a religious obligation. In my community, FGM is practiced as a religious requirement. As a campaigner, they believe that you are just introducing Western churches. For me to convince them, I had to now bring in people who are highly respected. Grassroots activists travel far and wide, searching out key religious and community leaders to persuade them to join the cause. I know for sure, if religious leaders can stand up with us, this thing will be a history. But it's a daunting task trying to persuade powerful men of faith. We are on our way to meet Imam Fatih, and um, he's like the most influential Imam in the country. You are fighting female circumcision and say that it's not Islamic. Hurting people, torturing people, it's not right in Islam. Most leaders change their minds when confronted with the realities of FGM, which is why our training academies always start with a medical presentation. Female genital mutilation. The pictures were so horrible, I didn't want to show you. This is what I see every day. Persuading the community is a good start. Are you with me? Yes. Everything helps, from the smallest congregation to the might of the national media, which we have found reaps the most spectacular results. In Mali, the FGM taboo was broken when religious leaders spoke out on television for the first time. La déclaration d'un imam à la première chaîne du Mali dire que l'excision n'est pas une obligation de religion musulmane, ça c'est une grande satisfaction. The power of the media cannot be underestimated. Muslim leaders have delinked the Islamic religion from female genital mutilation, saying the act is sinful. The circumcision of women is not allowed in Islam. Following an intense media campaign in Tana River, Kenya. Our impact study showed that people's attitudes towards and acceptance of the worst form of FGM have fallen from 89% to 5% in just three years. The media movement is based on empowering frontline grassroots activists to lead the fight, using their own words and speaking in their own language. The funding process is as transparent as it is simple. The grants activists receive pay for airtime and they show accounts for everything they do. The activists are going from strength to strength. Working with over 300 religious leaders, they created hundreds of hours of anti-FGM content and generated over 900 million views and listens. The task now is to recruit more influencers who will enforce the urgent abandonment of FGM.
complete more authentic. Honestly speaking, engaging the religious leaders is key towards ending FGM. Yeah.